Okay, so we're actually doing what's considered advanced trigonometry, usually left to a pre-calculus class or something, but actually it's just the natural part of the human story. It's the very first thing our brains do. So it's strange to me that we don't do it first. Namely this, we're actually looking at the motion of the sun on one great big unit circle, one circle of radius one. You'll hear the phrase unit circle, but it's nothing scary. It's just the circle of the simplest radius possible. One, what we've been doing? One great big astronomical unit. And trigonometry is just all it's asking was the height of the sun and the overness of the sun at different angles of elevation in that picture. Done. And we've been doing it. But then people might say, well, we can actually start writing down some official identities, some, some circulometry identities. For example, we do know right away that sine of an angle plus an extra 360 degrees would have to be, ooh, what would it have to be? I have to think about it. If my sun is at an angle x plus an extra 360 degrees, where would my sun be? Oh, the same location. What would be the height be? It would be the same as it was before. It would be sine of x. There's a trig identity. Done. Cosine of x plus 360 degrees. Um, okay, sun is at an angle x plus an extra 360 degrees. Where's my sun? Well, same as it was at angle x. So the cosine must be the same. The overness here is the same as the overness there. There's another trig identity. In fact, all, most of these trig identities are just going to be like, just look at the picture and say, well, yeah, I get it. Of course, it's just kind of obvious. You know, of course, I'd be a little bit flippant because some of them can be tricky. For example, what's sine of x plus 180 degrees? What's the height of the sun at angle x plus an extra 180? Well, let's figure it out. Here's the height of the sun at angle x. If I go an extra 180, it'd be directly opposite. The sun would be down here. And I guess by symmetry, I can see, oh, I have some height there. I have exactly the same height, but in the opposite direction. It'll be the opposite of the height I just had before. There's a trigger identity. Great. Um, here's another one. Let's try this one. What about cosine of negative x? Oh, cosine of negative x. That's weird. So I want a negative angle this time. So here's the angle x. So it's uh, x degrees in the positive direction. So now I want x degrees in the negative direction. Where would the sun be? I guess it would be down here. Oh, I can actually see by pure symmetry. If that's x degrees up, I'm now going x degrees down. That's what negative angles mean. And it's basically the same picture. And cosine is the overness. Oh, look, the sun will have exactly the same overness. No change in the overness. The, the overness at negative x is the same as the overness at x. Beautiful. Maybe I should even label that negative x. All right, that's it. That's the story. Perhaps the most famous identity of all is the one I'm seeing in this pink triangle right here. I see one side cosine of x, one side sine of x, one side of 1. Makes me think Pythagoras. So perhaps the most famous trig identity of all is that sine of x squared plus cosine of x squared equals 1 squared. And to make this look neat, people say, look, there's a lot of parentheses going on there. That's just hard to read. They abbreviate this to just sine squared of x plus cos squared of x equals 1. But the little 2 up there is kind of a bit weird. It really shouldn't be exactly there. It's not like sine times sine, which makes no sense, times x. It really means this, sine of x all squared plus cosine of x all squared equals 1. But I can see that right there because it's right in that theory right there of triangles. There's a little right triangle, let's make use of it. But then, that now brings me to the next part of the story. We left off in the 1200s, 1300s, because then something happened in the 1500s that went from, oh, not circulometry, let's now make it trigonometry. So now I'm going to go to the story of trigonometry, how most first, how people first see it, and I'll explain why that happened. Exciting stuff.